Right, hey there, how's it going? Here we have another question, let's take a look. It says, among the first five prime numbers, how many distinct pairs have an odd product? Now, here we have no figure to look at, right? There's no drawing, this isn't a geometry question, and so we should focus a lot on the sentence here on this question, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. Among the first five, the first five prime, wow. Every single one of those words is important. And then it says, how many distinct pairs have an odd product? All right, cool. So it doesn't say consecutive pairs, distinct pairs, all right? First five prime numbers. All right, so let's do that. What are the first five prime numbers? They are two, three, five, seven, two, three, four, and 11. Now, they think, I can be, I can really assure you this, they think that you're going to forget 2. People tend to forget that 2 is a prime number because it's even. They tend to think for some reason they conflate prime numbers and odd numbers in their head when really they're not the same sort of thing. So make sure you include 2 because if you don't and you say 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, if you say 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13 and you exclude 2, I bet you that answer's there. All right? So don't forget it. Here we are. This is the right way. 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. Those are the first five prime numbers, all right? And now what we have to do is use what we learned from probability. So this is a bit messy, but let's get going. We have to go two times three, five, seven, eleven, times five, seven, and eleven. Here is six, here is ten, here is fourteen, and here is twenty-two. Nice. And then do the same thing with three. Here two, here five, here seven, here eleven. This is six. That's fifteen. We're doing the products. Three times two is six. Three times five is fifteen. Three times seven is twenty-one. Three times eleven is thirty-three. Good. Next one. Five. Again, make four branches. Five times two is ten. Five times three is fifteen. Five times seven is 35 and 5 times 11 is 55 and then go on to 7 and again 4 branches 2 3 5 and 11 this time we have 14 7 times 3 is 21 7 times 5 is 35 and 7 times 11 is 77 let me make sure that you can see all this yes you can nice all right, and then the next one is 11. Again, four branches, 2, 3, 5, and 7. This is 22. This here is 33, 55, 77. These are all the possible products that can come out of making uh, pairs. And let's find out which ones are distinct and which ones aren't. But first of all, let's find out which ones are odd. All right, so... Candidates, candidates, let's hurry up. Let's see. None of these are candidates. These are all even. How about here? Aha. That one's good. This one's good. This one's good. Look, 15. But what's the problem with 15? It's not distinct because 15 is here and 15 is there. It has to be distinct. So we can't count this 15. How about 35? Very good. Because it's nowhere else yet, right? How about 55? That's the first time it appears too, and it's odd. So it has to be distinct, and it has to be odd. How about 14? That's even. How about 21? That's good, but it appears. All right, it can appear more than once. How about 35? That's good too, but look, it's also there. So not you, buddy. How about 77? Yep. 77 is odd, and it's the first time he appears. How about 22? That's even. How about 33? That's odd, but it appears. Cross it out. How about 55? It's odd, but it appears. How about 77? It's odd, but it appears. So let's just count our circles now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. Where's 6? Six? 6 is right there. So, ma'am. There you have it. That's the answer. The answer is F. Now, when there's no figure, the principal thing is reading really closely. You have to understand... That this is important, that's important, that's important. So many words here in this one question are important. You have to make sure you underline them and respect them. Make sure you are always 
that you always have them on your mind, that you're always not doing mental math, because there's a mental math way to do this, and the book actually says that you should do that way, I don't think that you should. All right, so I, I think we can do this if you do your multiplications fast enough. You can get your answer in under two minutes or something like two minutes, which is okay, because even though we have 90 seconds per question, that's an average. There will be questions you take 30 seconds to solve, some you take 60 seconds to solve, and yes, it's true, there's hard ones you'll take three minutes to solve, but those will be the ones that you'll leave for last anyways, and uh, I think it's doable. This is definitely doable in about 90 seconds, 120 seconds, something like that. So yes, our answer is 6, and there it is. And again, there were other odd numbers. See? All these here are odd numbers too, but we discounted them because they were already, they had already appeared once before, and we have to make sure that they're distinct. Alright, so that's that, and see you later.